You know, we originally started in 1918 with my great grandfather because he was fed up of having to give a portion of his cider. Back then, what you did was you would harvest your apples and then you'd bring them to someone else to make your cider. And he thought he was getting ripped off. So a family trait of mine is we're very stubborn and hard-headed people. So in, in that regard, he decided that he would just start his own cider mill because he thought he was kind of getting um, not a fair deal. And then from there, it kind of grew. Uh, it was just a, originally it was a really small store that just did cider. And then my grandfather actually had the vision and my grandmother to make it more of a year-round store and, you know, have the local products of the cheeses and things like that. And, um, and then from there, my dad actually doubled the size of the store again and created more gift items and tried to make it, you know, like people could come here for Christmas shopping and things of that nature. My dad was getting ready to retire though and he was happy with where he was financially and he was happy with what he had done with the business and he was actually going to sell it to another person outside of our family. And um, talking with my wife and having the birth of our first child, we decided that we would take on this venture. Shoots is different from the rest just because of the strong family tradition and the people that work here are truly um, have worked here. We have some people that actually started with my father the, the same year and they still work here under currently with, with me. And, you know the ambiance of the place is just a little bit different. You can actually stand in the original part that was built in 1918 because we're getting to be almost 100 years old. Um, we make cider the same way that we used to make cider. My vision of where I wanted to go with the business because I'm looking into growing into younger families and more experiential things and um, just expanding our demographic a little bit more was something that was not done before by generations so I don't think that they understood my vision in the beginning uh, but now that they see that the mill has grown and it isn't being successful there's nothing but support from my family. But I think I'm better at relating to customers, talking with customers, treating them like they are our family because we are very grateful for them. Without them, I mean, we're nothing. I want them to feel that, that nostalgic, that atmosphere of family, and that they are truly part of this experience of growing with my family. I work 80 to 100 hours at least every week. Uh, yesterday was my first day that I actually took a couple of hours off and it's December. If you want to do a good job in anything you do, you're going to put your heart and soul into it.